All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, I'm still promoting this because no one else is. Blackberry Smoke, be right here. Dave, I thought you were the melodic rock guy. What are you doing with this Southern rock thing? Well, in the old days, we could listen to Southern rock. You'd have some Leonard Skinner, some Blackfoot, uh, some Outlaws, Rosington Collins band. Remember those guys? Um, anyway, uh, Blackberry Smoke, be right here. It's uh, rock and roll the old-fashioned way where you can hear the instruments and songwriting is good and the guitar playing is good and may not be your cup of tea, but I'm serving up that tea right now. So, you know, if you don't want it, I get it. But uh, I'll put a link in the video if you want to order a copy. I get like 32 cents if you decide to order a CD, <laughs> something like that. It's much like the revenue I'm earning uh, right now on this platform per video. Um, it's it's just it's been better. OK, and so if you want to support the channel, Patreon, YouTube memberships, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, watch them over and over again. And then who knows? Maybe I'll be a YouTube star someday. So Stevie Nicks is out there, right? And she's doing a lot of stuff. And I wanted to talk about Stevie Nicks because I think there still could be one last Fleetwood Mac reunion. What she needs to do is uh, just make the phone call to Lindsay, say, hey, look, I'm sorry about what happened. And um, you're an important part of this band. And I think we should give the fans one more tour. You could do the Fleetwood Mac farewell tour and farewell for the next four or five years. You don't have to farewell quickly. You can do a Kiss farewell. You can do an Eagles farewell. Or you could do the Fleetwood Mac farewell, which could go on even longer. And you know what else I think Stevie Nicks should do? Now, she's out on the road. Uh, they've paired her up with Billy Joel at times. And I've watched Stevie Nicks and Billy Joel sing uh, Stop Dragging My Heart Around. <laughs> I like them both. I like, and again, this is me just being Simon Cowell. I like them both. However, I don't like them doing that song together. All right. Billy Joel as Tom Petty does not Billy Joel and Tom Petty. What do they have in common? They're both dudes, right? So I have a solution. Stevie Nicks and the Heartbreakers. Hello. I'm sure this has already been thought of before. Stevie Nicks and the Heartbreakers. Yeah, I know she's got what Waddy Watchtel, I think, out on tour with her. Just an amazing guitarist. But imagine having Mike Campbell who can kind of sing the Tom Petty parts. If you haven't seen Mike Campbell and the Dirty Knobs, yeah, I know, they're called the Dirty Knobs. I just, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, they're actually pretty good. They're actually a pretty good band. Like I said, during the whole Mike Campbell replacing Lindsey Buckingham thing, I like Mike Campbell. It was hard for me because I'm like, he's great over here. He's not as good over here. So you should keep him over there. But, you know, Irve's off and all his buddies said, hey, more marquee power. You know, get Mike Campbell, get Neil Finn. Of course, you had to teach everybody about who Neil Finn was, is, because nobody knew who he I mean, I knew who he was because I'm into this music stuff, but Neil Finn. Oh, yeah, Crowded House. Okay, so, yeah, that's the guy from Crowded House. And he's got a brother, and I think he's got another brother. And so I think it's two brothers, maybe three. I, I can't remember. See, I haven't been paying attention lately to what's going on in the uh, Finn world. So, um, yeah, Stevie Nicks and the Heartbreakers, you'd have. And I would go see that, by the way. If they advertised Stevie Nicks and the Heartbreakers, I would go in a second. Now, I'm thinking... Stevie Nicks is probably like, oh, this is sacrilegious, but it's not sacrilegious to perform the Tom Petty song with Billy Joel. I mean, come on. I mean, Mike Campbell would do it justice. He's the right guitarist for the job. Um, plus, you guys could do all of the Petty material, all of the Stevie Nicks material. I would go see that show. 
despite me not being a big fan of Stevie Nicks as a person, I don't really dig her politics all that much. Although she might have been right about Vladimir Putin. I'm, <laughs> I may need to apologize and say I think she might have been right. And the poem was probably spot on. That's all. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but anyway, uh, Stevie Nicks is very busy these days. She's headlining. She's going to be at the BST Hyde Park in London. Uh, Friday, July the 12th. And she'll be joined on stage by soon-to-be-announced special guests. Who could they be? She says, anything that draws me back to London and therefore to England fills my heart with joy. And to be able to visit and make music is always a dream come true. I wonder if she will pay tribute to her late friend, Christine McVie. Now, I know that might be the reason we're not seeing a Fleetwood Mac reunion, because some people just won't buy into it. Now, the Stevie Nicks tour... I mean, she's busy. This isn't just like a one-off date. That's why I'm saying she should be thinking about getting Fleetwood Mac back together again, since apparently she's the queen of Fleetwood Mac. You know, I mean, she's calling all the shots. She basically told uh, the band, hey, it's either him or me, and it ended up being her. And... Her schedule is quite busy, her concert schedule. Um, if you go to her website, you'll see she's playing a whole bunch of dates. And again, this was somebody who was really uh, apprehensive about leaving her house two or three years ago. I think she was like one step behind Howard Stern in that department where Stern was never coming out. And I think Stevie had hermetically sealed her. <laughs> she didn't hermetically seal her house. I'm just kidding. But she was close. She was pretty close. She was one of those advocates that thought the world was going to end and that uh, nobody was going to uh, go back outside and that she wouldn't be able to do concerts anymore. She sounds OK for what she is. I'll, I'll say that, you know, people like when I say that. Yeah, for their age, for 70, whatever she is. Yeah, she sounds all right for that age. Does she sound anything like she used to sound like? Yeah. You know, if she's singing Tom Petty material, it's actually easier because of the way her voice has aged. And then you bring in Mike Campbell, and I'm thinking that would be a great combo. So send this out to Irving Azoff, Stevie Nicks, and the Heartbreakers. Even has a nice ring to it. Tom Petty, Stevie Nicks, same number of syllables, right? Except the first name is one, the second name is two. And here we have the first name is two, and the last name is one syllable. Stevie Nicks and the Heartbreakers. It works. It works. And I think they would sell tickets. And obviously they could pay proper tribute to the late, great Tom Petty. I know Mike Campbell does a good job with his band, but who wants to go see a band called the Dirty Knobs? Anybody? Bueller? Anybody? All right. Uh, before I go, the spectacular album by Blackberry Smoke. Be right here. I will put a link in this video where you can order a copy. And if um, you buy one, I think I get 38 cents. So that's going to be helpful. But more helpful would be to become a patron, a dollar a month, two bucks a month. Uh, whatever you can afford there is much appreciated. Also, YouTube members uh, get early watching privileges. Oh, boy. Some people are like, no, I don't want to see these videos before I'm supposed to. I want to block them out. I want to forget about them totally. I totally understand that. I get it. All right, people. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please, if you pray, continue to pray for peace in the Middle East and around the world. Pray for America in the year 2024. As some crazy things are happening here. If you're not from the United States, um, you don't have to endure this election cycle that we're currently in. <sighs> Count it a blessing because uh, this stuff is just poison for your soul. It just really is. Anyway, talk to you soon, everybody. God bless.